Thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, my name's Eliza. I'm the operations manager for the showroom division at Trit House, and I'm very, very grateful to be here this evening speaking with Raymond Davids from Dubodi, the founder and CEO. So, Thank you. as you know, we are launching a brand this evening. We are launching Dubodi. We are so excited to be launching this brand as part of the Trit House family. It's been, it's been a long burn for us. You know, this is a brand we've always loved and always wanted as part of the family, and we're so excited to be able to have this brand as part of the Trit House family, and I'm so privileged to be speaking to Raymond tonight. And so, Raymond, tell us about Dubodi. No, no, first of all, thank you to invite us to be in here and to, uh, to be a part of TRIT. Uh, as we are very honored actually to see our uh, stuff, what we are making with all our passion now is presented in here. Um, yeah, that we are all now, uh, what is it? Uh, witness of the introduction. Yes, absolutely. For us, it started 23 years ago uh, when we uh, when I moved to Indonesia and to try to find actually my new direction in making furniture and going through all the challenges which this brings actually in this new, uh, what is it, new way of doing business and, and exploring yourself was that, um, um, that to see the, the beauty of, uh, of the materials which they are uh, over there and using, together with the craftsmanship, actually to translate it in the designs what we present today. And this goes not only about uh, just, an, uh, uh, this is just a time development. So um, what you see is what we are using is, uh, is reclaimed materials which is used from old houses and, um, and in combination actually with other natural uh, materials which we are using for the weavings, like banana leaves and, uh, and others, together with the traditional way how they produce it. So when I go into a shop and I uh, explain more about, uh, about the furniture, the, the first thing what I, uh, what I uh, show them is actually the touch, yeah, the touch of the the items and it feels uh, it feels like it's like uh, what is it um, the pureness the pureness of the wood yeah you see also the marks on it so it is re uh, representing the scars from the past which it brings from uh, from 50 years of uh, of uh, what is it the wood using for other uh, other materials like housing and yeah. So this is what we produce today, and uh, with the designs, which is we yeah, are made for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! It's really lovely to see. You can see the signs of the the first life mm -hmm. of the timber. Looking at the pieces, it's mm -hmm. it's so lovely to see them reimagined in in their second life, which is is what they are here. So. All of De, like all of Debody's teak is reclaimed teak, so it's all had a, a first life, uh, whether that's in housing or in construction, and everyone gets to experience its its second life as a piece of furniture mm. for you. Raymond, do you have a a personal favourite piece from your collection at the moment? Uh, no, everything what you see is our favourite. <laughs> yeah, uh, because every time when we uh, every. Every moment we are always in, uh, what is it? Uh, inspired actually by the materials to uh, prepare it ourselves to making new designs. Um, but uh, the, 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 the part actually, the pieces today is, is the artisan table. Absolutely. Yeah, it's which beautiful. is uh, very simple in design, but construction wise actually it comes back to the, to the what is it, the heritage of, yeah. uh, of Indonesia, how they make the constructions without any nails. Yeah, so this, this is all old timber. The old timber. Yeah, it's a very impressive piece of construction. Mm. If you haven't had a chance to sit down and take a look at it, I would recommend you do. All timber, mm. very different to anything else that we have at the moment. Yes, and the latest design is actually is the Karma Pure, mm. where we actually using all the rest materials to slice it down, to make it uh, the, the smaller pieces, to make the weaving of the teak wood. So everything what you see in that, uh, in that design is actually reclaimed and recycled. Yeah, and 100% solid, which is handcrafted by the craftsmen which we have in our factory. Yeah. yeah. 
So what do you think about she made? Mm. Actually, they're all unique. Everything is unique. Yeah, every mm. table or every uh, cabinet you 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 buy, uh, it has its own character, and it's not an. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's something personal you buy and you bring home. And mm. um, what inspired you to start the birdie? Uh, what inspired me to start the body is, is what, what every entrepreneur started in the beginning. Uh, it's just to, to, uh, yeah, to be unique and to find a way in, um, in designing and do, do things different than others are doing. In this case, uh, what, we, or what I uh, get inspired is actually by the handcrafted uh, uh, skills of the Japanese workers. So we translate that one in, an, in this modern design. Mm. Yeah. So that's inspired me actually to work with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So there is no machines, there's no mass product. Yeah, Everything so is hand on. Is hand on. Yeah. Have you, have you encountered any uh, challenges uh, in starting and founding and making Debodi the brand it is today? Oh, there's every day there's hard <laughs> challenges. I mean, yeah. can, can you tell us about some of the, the challenges you may have faced? Uh, the challenges actually, the education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way actually how to translate their craftsmanship, what they use uh, to do in their tradition actually to translate it to the to what we require now in in, uh, in European or Western style but also the, mm. the, the change of the climate yeah yeah that over there is in Europe so so when you bring it over uh, in other parts of the world where the humidity is lower so you also have to uh, to find a way in construction yeah how to manage that one. So that one is one of the biggest challenges. Yeah, definitely, I can imagine. Yeah. Indonesia is um, a hot place. <laughs> it's a hot place, yeah. yeah. Where do you see Debodi going next? What's next for Debodi? What I like, what I, uh, what is it? What I like to do and what is the destination of Debodi mm. is to make it a lifestyle brand. Mm. And that lifestyle brand is not ended actually today, it's actually it's a starting point today to get more aware about the nature, to get more, uh, to take our responsibility, yeah, to, um, um, for the materials what we are using, but also to keep the traditional handcrafted mm. uh, in, in, yeah, how you call it. I, I love that every piece is unique, like nobody's table will be the same, regardless of whether you both buy a dino dining table or dino dining table, they're both going to be different. Because they've yeah, exactly. got that it's, a, it's, it's handmade. Mm, exactly. Yeah, it's something actually which you not buy from the machinery. It's actually something which you bring. Hand finished. Yes. Yeah. And the story behind it is it gives you also the uniqueness of the item. No, yeah, it's it's such an amazing collection. Um, I would love to thank everyone for for coming this evening and for participating in our launch. Um, this is a small select group of clients, and I'm very very privileged and grateful that you've all come this evening. Um, it's been such a pleasure to have Raymond here in Australia for the launch of the brand. And Raymond, is there anything else you would love to, you want to talk about in regards to Debodi to, to our audience tonight? I think if you go, if you see all the documentary which we already make about the expression, about from where it comes uh, and who are the crafters behind this whole, yeah, we, we have a lot of uh, documentary. Uh, so oh. please take a look at it. Mm -hmm. There's such a wealth of wealth of resources on the Debodi YouTube mm -hmm. page, especially about the origin of the brand and the craftsmen and the artisans that are involved in the production of every piece you see here tonight. If you have a spare five to ten minutes, please take a look. They're so inspiring. It's such a great way to understand where all these pieces come from and who who creates them who's making that piece that you're using every day in your personal life. It's, it's such a privilege to be able to know where these things come from, from beginning to end use. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy.